Hey everybody, Paul McFarland here with another, yet another, there'll be no end to this, just so you know, glorification of the work of Shayate. Diving into here again, the 50 book, 50th anniversary book. <coughs> Not uh, available public sale, you have to know somebody. Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, one, um, two, Maybe three examples in here, so we'll try and keep this under 10 minutes, but we'll see how it goes, because I tend to effuse. Levi's. There was a lot of work done by Levi's by a lot of agencies, and when Shia Day had it, they had everything from like the hard jeans, the Mark Capo spots where, you know, took a light bulb and a camera, pushed it through, you know, the legs, and talked about these hard jeans and making fun. But it was the branding stuff when they said things like, Calvin wore them, <coughs> excuse me, um, and what was really good about that, again, it's that smart alecky shiat day core uh, being, um, see, Levi's, you could argue, is the big one, and Calvin Klein is the small one, but of course, Calvin Klein jeans and all that in the 80s, you know, uh, it's reclaiming the top in a way, and even though you should never punch down in the world, this is not quite a punch, but sort of a tip of the hat. Uh, sideways. Really smart. And of course, I just love things like this, where you take the actual tab and blow it up huge as if the tab is on the building and the building is a pair of... Come on, you get it, right? Yeah. Um, you know, if they could talk, you'd have to kill them. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I don't know what got in me today, but anyway. <clears throat> I'm feeling perfectly healthy. The thing about this is going into the truth, the spirit, the core, the essence of the product and the cachet, the essence of the brand. And Banarad, hell yes. Um, Banarad, hell yes. And these are ideas. These are ideas that you can make great TikTok videos out of. And could you imagine a woman standing, you know, I assume that's a woman, standing over the washer and pulling these out and saying, these could talk, I'd have to kill them. <laughs> See, short little videos. See, great ideas that are short make wonderful short TikTok videos. So when you're making TikTok videos, have an idea first and it'll be even better, an idea. So this, um, this was a great, great campaign because anytime you go into the core, the truth, the essence of a brand, the world says, I like. Uh, uh, this work I'm about to show you here has been celebrated many, many times in many, many places. Uh, the ABC TV work. And the best, almost all the best lines in there by, of course, Rich Siegel. Uh, Rich got it, the shy day way of speaking, I think, very well. And again, smart aleck, uh, audacious, but true. At the time that this campaign came out, I was like a lot of people thought television just rotted your brain. And it still does in many ways, but we have more choices, so it's more self-inflicted. And, you know, before TV, <laughs> TV, two world wars after zero. I hope that's still true. I like this campaign so much that when I found out you could get t-shirts, I got them. Uh, long gone, I don't know why bright yellow stained diesel and whatever. And there was something about the, the design with that uh, font, I forget the name of it actually, that looks sort of uh, solarized, you know, sort of distorted, is really cool. And the yellow, uh, you don't have to go into yellow journalism and that stuff, but just being yellow. It's just not a color people were using at a time and it stood out and just Smart, 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 making people thinking about TV as if ABC invented TV, you see? That was fucking brilliant. You know, you could have talked about ABC programs. No, talk about TV and let ABC own it. Because when you do that, this is a lesson advertising 201, everybody. When you claim the high ground in your category, who can copy it? 
Could you imagine CBS or NBC or Fox, wherever, trying to talk about television and the essence of television after ABC did that? Mm. Uh, the Apple Think Different campaign. Um, there was a letter to the editor in Ad Age at the time that said that the work was lazy and anyone could have done it, blah, blah, blah. And I jumped on that and wrote my own letter. And I got it back, which I showed in my Shy Day video number two or three, where I showed things I'd gotten from Lee and I'd sent to Lee. And Lee sent me that actual clipping back saying, hey, thanks, lovely. Because when you do this as a bus wrap or whatever, and just put your thing different and your logo on there. Back then when they were still using the rainbow logo. And you do it like this. It is just the coolest, most kick-assy thing you can possibly do. I think I'll stop here because what everyone said is so easy and so simple. Nothing, you know, just get an old person's picture and put it in the blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah? You sell it to your client. And the cool thing about that campaign is not what happened on the billboards or the magazine ads. It's what happened in the mind of the viewer that, oh, isn't that, uh, hey, uh, isn't this, oh, it isn't, oh, that's who that is. Wow. And you look it up. They did versions for industries, like even advertising. They had Bill Bernbach. Um, there was a Jay Shia one, of course, when he passed. There were ones for art, for dance, you know, you name it. And there were the posters, which um, I think are mostly long gone. I had them mounted a phone core or laminated and they would put them in my office, but I don't know what happened to them. Those are great keepsakes if you can find them on eBay. Uh, the thing was, they were reconnecting Apple to their core beliefs and people were saying stupid things like, well, would so-and-so, they didn't use a computer, they wouldn't use a computer. How do you know? How do you know Picasso wouldn't have loved a Mac? See, the point is, again, the ad happens here, not there, it is powerful. And that campaign did that. Shiat Day. Oh my God, were they TBWA Shiat Day then? I don't want to even think about it. But they were the best. They knew how to get to the core of the truth of a brand and say it in a really, really smack you in the face, audacious way that hurt, but you knew they were right and they were true. And I hate to say it, all that greatness came almost always from an idea expressed in words. Now the Apple campaign, no. But it, the pictures said so much and the writer who decided it didn't need any words knew that the word was in the photographs. This is a great team effort getting that done. There are videos you can watch about that on YouTube about how the Apple campaign came about. Yeah, those are examples of some work that you all should be paying attention to in this day and age when you're doing whatever you're doing for TikTok or Instagram or whatever you're putting it on. You bring the same thinking to what you're doing there, you're going to stand out, you're going to win. I hope you're following what I'm saying. This is free education for you about how to make your work, your business, your brand that good.